So, you're missing a roof. I don't want to worry you. Yeah, no, the reason the, move, that the roof is no longer with us is the church got burnt down by a doodle bug at the end of, just at the very end of the Second World War on July the 13th, 1944. And it actually landed on the south side, just over there. Um, and the fire was so immense, it caught fire to the, to the wooden roof and very little of the church, as you can see, remained. The church used to be part of the barracks. In fact, it was connected to, to, the, uh, to the courtyard there, or Barrack Field. And then um, in the 1960s, um, planning permission was given to the South Circular to be built through it. So it's never to be reunited to the parade ground, unfortunately. Oh, so this, before this actually is the, the military. road came, this was all one... Part of the parade ground, I yes. I see, OK. And if this was all one thing, I assume this was mainly or almost exclusively used by the military. Yes, that's right. It was the military church, yes. So why didn't they rebuild it? There was a chapel in the academy just up the road. Okay. That was very much usable. And the damage, I don't think it was deemed worth it, particularly post-war. And then you get another decade on, it's fallen into even more disrepair, etc. And I can tell you when work started to kind of rejuvenate it was uh, as we were approaching 2012. And London was hosting the Olympics. When we became a, a royal borough, of course, it was noticed that it was a bit of a, um, a, a blip on this beautiful horizon that is Greenwich. So we managed to get some funding, okay. but it was decided not obviously not to rebuild, but rejuvenate, I think is the word. I mean, although the whole of the roof went, yeah. quite a lot of the east stand, it was like about four four storeys higher, two, five enormous windows there. They survived, but over the decades, they became increasingly unstable. So, uh, you know, there was a lot more that survived post, you know, post the, the fire, but... Um, as I say, it, it stood in a state of dereliction for a number of decades. Look, this is this wonderful, really lo lovely Byzantine-esque remains of a really quite beautiful church. And then a, a 21st century addition to kind of protect what, the, what was safe about the chancel and build that wonderful waterproof roof, which is obviously done with acoustics in mind. So we can not only keep dry, but we can host concerts and things. It's the same fabric, apparently, that the uh, dome roof is, is, you know, is built with. Oh, really? So it was built in 19, or well, finished in 1863. Okay. And the architect was a certain Thomas Wyatt, and he was commissioned by Mr. Um, Herbert, uh, you know, who, of course, was a very, very, he's very well known here. I've already mentioned the, uh, the Royal Herbert Pavilions. He was a very oh. good friend of uh, Florence Nightingale. Oh, well, and they the, mentioned a pub on the side th as That's well. right, down in, uh, <laughs> down in Plumstead. That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. I might go along there and take yeah, a no, Well, it's all relevant. I mean, he's a very well-known... Well, he's actually... His job title at the time, which I found all rather odd, was Secretary at War. And it, it was commissioned by, 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 by Herbert, who has a family estate in Wilton. And there's a church also built by the same... or designed by the same architect, which still stands and is is very, very similar. Just look how similar it is. The rose window, the disposition of the arches, but the polychromatic brickwork at Woolwich is a standout feature. And of course, looking at this, you suddenly realise that the two side arches have lost their arch. And we've actually got grapevines there and there. I call it Chateau oh. Barnes. Tim Barnes is the name of our chairman. Okay. And, uh, but it, it's unbelievably, you know, verdant with fruit come uh, September. Lovely. As far as I know, a bottle has not yet been made. <laughs> But slowly, but hey, I'm work, here. working yeah, up yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, uh, the corbels, they used to be much higher up, but we managed to rescue those. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's a phoenix. We've got we've got the phoenix there. It's a yes. mosaic tile, and then there's also a mosaic of a, a peacock, which is basically quite kind of religious imagery. If you like phoenix rising out of the flames, we yeah. uh, and then you've also got the peacock of great. But they pride. were part of the original design yes, of the church, yeah, and they've been re painstakingly re put together. But also kind of reflects what's happened to the church. It's, well, I actually, I, 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 I love the Phoenix particularly because it is, it is a rebirth. So underneath where we're standing now in the chancel underneath is the crypt and it's at, there's thousands and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of pieces of mosaic that still haven't been reconstituted if you, you know, constituted if you like. We did manage to recreate, yeah, the Phoenix, the Peacock and then obviously the most important of the lot, um, St George, which is gold and because it's directly east-west when the sun sets lights up it's absolutely beautiful it's a really beautiful backdrop for a concert that might be going on i mean was it the case that this was relatively undamaged no nope. i was sort of no. expecting right. more martial imagery because it was so close to the barracks but actually it uh, i mean george is obviously a warrior but you know the, be I the best think, one i always think the dragon looks rather pathetic actually 
I mean, I, I love it as a mosaic, but it's not the most uh, scariest you're, fire you're, breathing. You're saying, you're saying he's, he's, he's outclassed. He's a little bit, yeah, he's a little <laughs> bit too cute to kind of be, I don't know. Looks like he, I don't know, that's just my personal view. The dragon's always quite small, actually, thinking about it. They're supposed to be eating the princess, it, but... Uh... No, indeed, but it, I mean, it does just look like it's lying on its back for a tickle, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> In the story, yeah. depending which story you read, he doesn't, he isn't actually killed at this moment. That's the dragon true. survives yeah, and, and he's taken back to the city. And, and George says to the, the people of the city, if you convert to Christianity, I'll kill him. Which I think is blackmail. Yes, I... <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, you know. that's warriors for you. <laughs> of course, if you've subscribed to the channel already, You've probably seen my video on the life of St. George and some of the remarkable facts about his life. Facts. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Oh, and, and like and comment too and share. The so, gates, well, they're quite special. They're a relatively new addition. They were officially opened in 2015, which is obviously post um, Olympics. I saw the Arsenal guns yep. very, very prominently. And so oh, and I think it, I, was, it, I was looking at those so I didn't look up and see these wonderful flowers. Oh, the inspiration was in Flanders Field. Of course, the most, probably the most famous poem from the First World War. That's charming, actually. So it's absolutely lovely. I'll, well, yes, if you just look at it, you can see the three flowers of remembrance from England, France and Germany. So you've got the poppy, you've got the um, cornflower, and then you've got the forget-me-not. And then it's the wonderful larks in, in, in gilt, which are still sort of bravely singing when the guns are roaring below. This porch, this is obviously the east, um, the west side. This was about four stories higher. I mean, it had the capacity to fit 1,700 congregational, you know, that's which is huge, if you can imagine. And you can see the, the kind of um, shrapnel marks in the pillars there. It, had a, it got a real battering, didn't it? Well, it almost looks like, I mean, I guess they're angels. That they are got, angels, are yeah. Um, but almost like a figurehead, and then, on, but on the other side you've got, ah, oh, I've it, got a theory sort of, about this, look. Go on then. So, is that an eagle, a bull, a person, and then we must have On the fourth we're going to have the lion, so the, indeed. Oh, I'm so glad I spotted that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. This is the, the lovely creepy crypt. <laughs> These are the archers that need strengthening to uh, cover the weight for the new flooring up in the crypt. It kind of does look a bit perilous, doesn't it? I'm sure it isn't. Well, that's but... concrete. You can tell there's concrete on that one, but, <coughs> but this one isn't supportive. That's yes. Supportive, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you can see to the, to the left there, that needs to all be excavated. There's a whole heap of rubble over there, which... Uh, and it's being supported by those rather... Oh. Worrying looking poles that's giving it support at the moment. That's, that's doing so, something, that's isn't doing, it? Okay. Yeah, so don't touch those, yeah. Right. And, but it'd be so beautiful when those stones are laid. But you can see all these crates, these are more and more remains of the mosaics. Got damaged. Yes, in yes, yes, yes. And then yeah. if you on, round to the right, this is where the coke fire was. It's all a little bit dark and creepy, as I said. But please watch your step. So there's a pile of coke there ahead, which obviously was there when the, uh, the church got bombed. This is an original coke pile. It is indeed. And the coke pile didn't catch fire. Nope. The church did. Yeah, I know. Well, it was a wooden <laughs> roof. So. And then that is your coke fire oh. to the left. And that's, that's how the church is heated, I guess. Yes. But it's a, a nice record of once what was, so to, so to speak. Well, the camera's picking up like spooky smoke. Things. Yeah, I, do, I have to say, it's always nice to be down here with somebody else. <laughs> it's yes. not my favourite place. <laughs> so is this in its original location yes. or was it, was it really... Oh. Is there one on the other side? No. And I'm guessing the Greek says Lamb of God, is it? Yes, it does. An <laughs> inauspicious location. Not the most, yes, not the most auspicious at all. <laughs>